Hi there, Dennis and Denise here. And Toby. And Toby, that's our famous dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just wanted to ask you another great question again. Uh, what does it take to leave a legacy? Do you have to be famous or can you just be a normal Joe? Or a normal Toby. <laughs> He's leaving a legacy in this neighborhood. You know, in talking about this concept, we, we're hoping to draw out of you the God-given gifts, passions, and desires that he put there so you can fulfill the dreams, that, the desires that he has put in you. Now, one of the things, there's going to be a few people I'm bringing up. There's a gentleman by the name of Blake Mikowski. And nobody really heard of him. I didn't hear of him until now, but he was the owner of Tom Shoes. And he had a desire to help kids, poor kids. And so he'd go to countries in South America and he'd see kids without shoes and it just broke his heart. So he started a shoe company and he had a heart that every pair of shoes that he would sell, he would donate one to a, a child in a third world nation. So through that desire to bless children, God blessed him. He's selling more shoes than you can imagine because he's blessing people. What's amazing to me is how God put that desire in him to begin with. And then as it worked out, he, it was, he was serving a much greater purpose than he may have even known he would do. And it's amazing. That's how God is the one. We sometimes think, it, think, think it's, it, it's us, but he authors the desire. I just wanted to see a picture of that. These kids getting shoes there. You know, I think of Harry Truman, and we live in Grandview, Come on, Missouri. Or we don't live in Grandview now, but our church facility is in Grandview, and it's actually on the farm property, the childhood farm home of Harry Truman. And it's so amazing because... I've got these pictures here for you. Here we co <laughs> are coming up to the 70th anniversary of Israel becoming a nation, and he played such a key role in that. Well, what he did was, is he was back in 47, 48, he was a president back then, and Israel was trying to become a nation. They wanted their own land, but all the Arabs all around them were trying to keep that from happening. Even Europe was not into pushing this to make it happen. So Harry Truman pushed and recognized Israel as a nation and got that pushed through in the United Nations. It says at midnight on May 14th, the provisional government of Israel proclaimed a new state of Israel because he had signed the Come Balfour on. Declaration. And uh, on that same date, Truman recognized that and uh, it was a de facto authority of the Jewish state. The U.S. delegates to the U.N. and top-ranking State Department officials were angered that Truman released his recognition statement to the press without notifying them first. But on May 15th, first day of Israeli independence. Wow. And here we're going to celebrate it. That's what, right. It's coming up. What a legacy. This next month. And, and so how would you like to have been a person that stood for somebody nobody else wanted to stand for? The nation of Israel. Till today, it seems like we had a lot of people trying to turn their back on them. And our president now stood for them. He's going to put an embassy there. So these are some of the things we're talking about leaving a legacy. Now, these aren't all famous people. I, I just want to read one Bible verse, and it's out of the Passion Translation. It's in Luke 16 in about verse... Uh, I can't even see, see it too well in the light, but I think it's verse 30. Not sure. But it says... The one who manages the little he has been given with faithfulness and integrity will be promoted and trusted with greater responsibilities. But those who cheat with the little they have been given will not be considered trustworthy to receive more. If you have not handled the riches of the world with integrity, why should you be trusted with the eternal treasures of the spiritual world? And if you've not proven faithful with what belongs to another, why should you be given wealth of your own? Wow. So I'm going to make that our prayer 
at this broadcast. Father, I thank you that we can be faithful with what you've given us. Yes. You say if we're faithful with little God, you're going to make us faithful over much. So I thank you. You're going to put us in charge over much. So I pray that for our listening audience in Jesus' name. Well, I, I just, as God moves upon you, go to Capperman.com. Be a part of donating, giving to this ministry so we can continue to touch nations. We want to see you and help pray for you and see you be a part of what God's doing with this ministry.